Hi everyone, I'm Ken and I've gone caravanning. In today's video, we wanted to show you how to remove the Dometic CTS 4110 toilet, cassette toilet, uh, if you need to take it out. Now for us recently, we had to remove the toilet because we needed to do some work with our washing machine. Now what we found was from the very start of the, when we had the caravan, the caravan always, when it did the spin cycle, vibrated too much and spun out of balance. Now we kept just put one or two things in, it was fine, but uh, the minute you tried to put any a few things in, it would do. So what we found was, just come in Julian, see if you can pan down into there. No matter, when, every time we leveled the caravan up, what we found was, when we went to use the washing machine, the washing machine was always over to the side like that, instead of being centered in the middle. So we thought, well, we'll take it out and we'll have a see if we can do what we can do with it. So we looked at the toilet and we were away at the time and we, it looked, all looked a bit complicated. And we thought, no, we'll do it when we get home. So we have done it now and it's much easier than we thought it was. So what we're gonna do today is we're going to go through it and show you how to remove the toilet. So we're going to start on the outside, so let's go. So the tools we're going to use today is we are going to use a Phillips head screwdriver, a flat screwdriver, a pair of plies, and one of Julie's good knives out of the drawer she can um, have words with me later about. Let's go. Right, you want to come around onto that side, Julie, so that way you get a good, clear look into the into there. So the first thing we need to do is remove the cassette toilet. So we'll just put that out of there, out of the way. And what we have in there is, if you can just pan in there, Julie, each side there are two long pieces there. And what we need to do is just put that in there and just lever them out. Now, these have been out a couple of weeks ago, so they came out quite easy that time. They're a little bit harder the first time. So again, just lever those out. They're only held in by those clips there, just one each end, and they just pop in there. So we've got them out. That was the use of the knife. Alrighty, Phillips head screwdriver. There are six screws in here we need to remove. Two in the front, two in the middle there, and two right up the back up there. So we'll take them out, and that is the next stage. We have recording, Julie. All's good on the sound department? Yep. Great. Okay. The other two out, down right down the back, there's two. One, two. One, two. All right, that's the six screws all I've done. I'll just leave them in there for the time being, but they are undone. I took the first one out, the rest are just sitting in there. So that's all good to go. So what we're going to do now is we're just going to head back inside for a minute and we're going to pull that away from the wall. Now you can see now uh, the red light's on, the cassette's out of it. Uh, you can see the light from outside coming through the front where the handle cut usually comes out. So all we're going to do now is we're just going to pick it up and lift it about a half an inch and just pull it out from the wall about an inch. Can you see that, Julie? And just under there is a hook, and that's all we did was lifted it off that hook. All right, back outside. Now, 
Now what we need to do now is we need to disconnect the water and let the pressure out of the line. So I'll quickly do that. And I'll just turn the tap on up the front of the caravan and that'll let the water, the pressure out. Okay. So the next step in this little process, we need to disconnect the 12 volt wires. So they should be up and around here somewhere and you should be able to reach up and just pull them down. There they are there. Take notice of where we're disconnecting them from. The white is coming off the red and black line and the red is coming off the straight red. That's one, two, they're off. So, yep, they're off. And they can just hang down there just like that. Uh, the next thing we need to do, there are two little covers here and they just clip out. You just bend them up and they come out like that. One each side, two. All right. Now, then we need, this is an overflow, and we just need to pull that up and through. That's one. And now, let's tuck that inside for a minute. Uh, can you see under there, Julie? Just under there, there's the, the, the water coming in, and there's a clip on there, and we just need to remove that clip. Pull that off there. And that's off. Okay, open that back up. And this will be siliconed there on the top. Well, mine is not. I'm going to do this when I put it back in. Um, yeah, so that should just pull through the floor now. I'm just going to get the rest of that clip off the line. Clips off. Pull that through and stick it just in there. So there we go. Everything's disconnected. Let's go back inside and remove it. Okay, back on the inside. Now we should be able to just pick the whole toilet up, comes apart in one go, and just move it away. And we'll just drop it in the corner there, out of the way, and come back in there. So there we have the six screws, two, four, six, two there. That's where they went through the floor. We'll clean that up and put some new silicon in when we put it back in. Clean that up in a minute. And the, and the 12 volt wires we disconnected. All right, so for us, it was just now a matter of removing the front cover off, off there. Six screws, we undone those screws. Ours wasn't siliconed on, I believe some might be. If they are, you will need to get something, some heavy duty fishing wire or something. Work back behind it and cut through the silicon. Um, you're then free to pull the washing machine out. Do whatever you need to do to it. For us, we put a whole new floor in there um, and basically unleveled the floor so that when we put the washing machine back in, the drum was level. And uh, that has worked really well for us, hasn't it, Julie? Yeah, it We've done quite a few loads of washing since then. Much better, could put much bigger loads in. It doesn't spin out of control and, and be, banging around, banging over the wall and that, now it spins nicely. So it still will do that if you load it too much, but it's much better. Alrighty, so now the process of putting it back together. So, uh, same process, putting it back together. We take the thing, we just place it near the wall. Place it about an inch from the wall, go back outside, Join up your 12 volt wires, put your pose back down through the bottom and your water hose and your overflow hose back out through the bottom. Silicon at the top now if you wanted to and then come back inside, lift it back against the wall, 
redo your screws and put all the plastic bits back in. Job done. It's as easy as that. Uh, so I believe there's a few models that this is. Seems to cover a few models on here. Uh, can you get into that, Julie? CT450, uh, CTLP, CTS4050 and 4110, and CW, CTW4050 and 4110. I believe they look like they're all the same. I can't be sure. Ours is the CTS4110. Uh, that's it for today. Uh, I hope you find that useful. Um, we put the job off for quite a while fixing that, thinking it was going to be a major issue to do the toilet. And as it turns out, quite easy to do, no problems. As you see, I don't know how long that took, maybe 10 minutes to pull it out, 15 minutes. Um, do the repair, 15 minutes to put it back in. That's it. Alrighty, thanks for watching everybody, and we'll see you in the next video. Cheerio.